What's up, everybody? Welcome to Super Corn, Corn, Super Corn Bros. What's up, Corn? Super Corn Ops. Coin Ops. This is the Neo Geo. Yeah, this is the Neo Geo. I'm L playing off a of Neo Geo. Luckily, uh, no, I'm not. No, he's not. Luckily, uh, on the Wii Shop, a bunch of the uh, classic. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was narrating in English. No, no. This is the real uh, arcade version of the game, though. This is Samurai Showdown, everybody. This game, oh, this game is amazing. This game is such a good fighting game. When I was a kid, I used to love it, but I haven't played it in years. Th have you ever played the arcade one? Yes. It's all bloody and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. So, so Samurai Showdown is developed by SNK. It's for the Neo Geo. It's which, MVS. I don't know what that is. Do normal, because uh, yeah. I'm crazy. And uh, it was it's developed by SNK, and it has like... Super bloody oh, stuff. It's kind of in that post. Uh, God, it looks great. Oh God, the animation looks really good. It's a, it's a, it's in that post Street Fighter Two era where people were trying to like reinvent the fighting games all the time. My eyes are blue, but I know not a samurai spirit. San Francisco versus Galford. Did you pick Genon? Oh yeah, he's my favorite. And guard. So, Here we go. Yeah. So. Oh! I don't so, know how to play this game. A couple of cool things about this game is that this uh, ref guy in the background. What is happening? <laughs> what just happened? This ref guy in the background uh, like tells you who hits who every time. There's like cool environmental things, cool blood stuff. Um, this is one of the first fighting games ever where with animal companions, and it's one of the first to like pioneer the like meant like the the like uh, non combo system of fighting. You know what I mean? I just- I'm not good at this game right now. That's okay. I don't know it by any means. I'm just pressing buttons. It's okay. Not even my Street Fighter prowess can help me here. Yeah. Uh, it's really- it- I mean, this game- Oh shit! Oh! This game was like one of the first like weapons games that like brought that weapon we idea go. in. I already said that, but I mean like I want you to think about like Soul Calibur and stuff, and realize how similar this is. Like, look at this guy, he's kind of like Valdo. You know what I mean? There you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah! Look at that. So I just realized Neo G only has two buttons, right? Mm, no. No, it has, there's multiple buttons? It has three, doesn't it? Anyway, oh. you can tell this is the arcade port because it has, uh... It has like voice effects and all those kind of cool crispy sounds. It's got that kind of Genesis-y soundboard. Ah. And uh... Man, it's just so good. It's pr I have to admit, it's incredibly impressive. But a lot of this I don't know what I'm doing. This game was super... Just like, it won a lot of like uh... Like awards because they chose like an era to set it in. It's set like in the 1800s, wow. you know, and it uses like pretty authentic sounding Japanese. Why did he just the same move three times in a row? Yeah, it uses like Japanese music that's like, uh, like obviously it's electronic, but it it sounds like it's from the period in a pretty good way. Hey, look, it's teaching you moves. Okay. Um, but yeah, like that guy right there. He like live shows you who's hitting who. You gotta play as freaking what's his name? Who? Freaking uh yeah, Frickin Halmaru. Oh, you mean the Ryu of this game? Yeah. He's great, man. I have long desire to fight with you. Come now. Apparently, like, this game inspired a lot of people because it was the Japanese version with all the blood is like that it got censored in the United States. And so I remember a thing as a where kid, I was really good at this game, but... People would, like, mod their Neo Geo consoles to, like, play the Japanese version of the game. Like, you know, at, like, pizza places and stuff, so that you could, like, get the cool, like, bloody Japanese version. And, uh, it also has this zoom system that came out in The Art of Fighting. 
As you can see, like, sometimes, like, when you back up and stuff, like, see, it's like, zooms in and out. Whoa! Yeah. That's like a really... That's a really big deal. That zooming situation. He keeps doing that, and it's really frustrating. Man, I really like this. I really, I'm really enjoying watching this. Yeah, I'm enjoying getting my butt worked. Are you? No. <laughs> of course not. Come on, you gotta be no. gal for at least Dude, once. I'm feeling a little bit salty right now, okay? He does this move where he just, like, flies up in the sky, and there's nothing I can freaking do. For me, these, uh... These games are pretty much synonymous with, like, pizza. And, like, f post, you know, soccer games and stuff like that. Do you have that same kind of association with this? Uh, not with this game. More so me, me and Street in Metal Slug and Street Fighter. For me, it's like Metal Slug, this, Area 51, Cruisin'. Cruisin', yeah, Cruisin'. Uh, light game, light gun games. Yeah. House of the Dead 2 in particular for me. What was that game that's called, that's like, it's like Area 51, but it used like pictures of real people? Oh man. It's called like Maximum Force or yes, something like Maximum that? Yes, Maximum Force, that's correct. Is that right? Is that the name yeah. of that game? I'm not positive it is. I'm not 100%. Um... But yeah, uh, a lot of people probably also know this game because it was ported to like, every console. Um... So they don't but like how he does that. The Genesis version didn't have any blood. The SNES version had like, orange blood. I don't even think the Genesis- I think the Genesis version was also missing Earthquake. But the Sega CD version is pretty good. It has like, all the voice stuff and the zoom. Man, oh man, oh man. Really cool. Just a really neat... Oh, dang. Oh, there yeah. There we go. Victory gained. What you know about victories, Galford? No. On. Okay, yeah, he beat me once. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the background animations. Look. They get all fast, yeah. That's that classic SNK. Like, if you play the new King of Fighters game, like, you watch the beautiful backgrounds and stuff, and, uh... You know, it's similar. I would love for them to do, like, a King of Fighters 13 style. Oh my god, I hate this dude. <laughs> I really, I really, Oh uh, my god. I really like that. Tam also, Tam. Yeah, Samurai Showdown is called Samurai Spirits. In, uh... In, uh, no. Jap in Japanese. So it's like Samurai Supiritsu, right? Yeah. So in Japanese, like, when you want to play this game, you say Samusupi. Because it's, like, the fast way to say it. Now, let me ask you, this is made by Neo Geo uh, First Party, right? SNK, yeah. SNK did this, okay. SNK it made Neo Geo. Oh, okay. So, why do you think we haven't seen one in a, in a while? Is SNK no longer in business? Because I think, like, it just makes sense to do a Samurai Showdown. SNK is in business. I was saying, I would love to see, like, a King of Fighters-style remake of this game that's, like, nice and 2D. I'm sure that it's something that's on their minds. I mean, this game was such a big deal back in the day. It's kind of, like, faded away. Yeah, I wonder why. But I really, like, the King of Fighters was so good, man. Yeah, bring it on. Oh man, that maneuver... That's like Blanca. This move is very stop and go. It's like, you get hit and then you wait. Well, the whole thing about these games, like I was saying, is that because it's the weapons thing, it's more about, like, true to, like, how you fight with weapons in real life. Like, you don't normally fight, like, you know, like Darth Maul or something, you fight more like, you know, weapons are weapons. You gotta swing them around and, and there's like a lot more like... Oh man. You gotta be a lot more careful with them and stuff. Yeah. And so it's more about like big hits. It does like slow-mo stuff. There's not a lot of like comboing. I mean, there are combos, but it's more about like big hits. And uh... Oh my lord! Another thing that's cool is, like, there's the people who run by in the background and give you, like, chicken and He's stuff. He's just... Oh, come on, dude! Or, like, the bombs, you know? He's just blocking and got me in a corner. There you go. It's just so it, like it's so neat to see like you look at this game and it's so clearly inspired by Street Fighter. But it, you know, I, I love to see that sort of I like it makes me nostalgic for like days like that when like games were kind of I don't want to say they were all the same, but it was like the scene was like much more. Like, year to year, everything would change, and, and, and that's, like, so cool to me. I remember this game being so much quicker. No, it's a really, it's a pretty, like, hard-hitting, slow yeah, game Yeah, it's general. a very slow-hitting game. 
Oof, Earthquake, you look beautiful. Earthquake reminds me of, uh, Hugo from Street Fighter. Yeah. Man. God, what? This game is so good. Samurai Showdown 2 is the one that I was, like, really... Like, played a lot, but I played that one a lot on Super Nintendo. I remember I used to rent this all the time. I remember my friend's parents getting mad, because I was a Genesis kid growing up. Like, I had a Genesis in my house, and so... You know, it was always a treat to be at a friend's house when they'd rent a game, because you'd really get to see something that you never got to see, you know? Oh, man. And so... So we'd rent this, and they'd, we'd always, like, pause the game when his mom came in the room because we didn't want her to see the blood. <laughs> no, Mom, you can't see it. I don't even know if she knew. I, I don't know if she ever actually honestly knew. This is a lot harder than I remember it being, man. It's just the rounds are really short, and, like, the weapons do a lot of damage. Why did I do that move again? Oh. Also, like, this series in general is, like, pretty, like... Pretty, like... Like, Japanese and, like, pretty interesting in a lot of, like... Like, fighting game firsts and stuff like that. So, like, you see a lot of, like... Like, for example, this game is, like, very Japanese. Like, all the people, like, in the game pretty much just speak in Japanese, which is pretty interesting. And, uh, it's all, like, different dialects of Japanese, and it's really neat to see that in an American game, but also, like, as far as fighting games for- uh, as far- as far as, like, firsts in fighting games, you know, like, the- the animals, like, that Galford and, uh, Nakaru have, that's like a- that's like a big deal, like, that's where this came from, and, like, you know, you can see that influence trickle down to, uh, you know, oh like, even God. things like assists in Marvel vs. Capcom and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, like, if you- if you look at, uh, Samurai Showdown for the N64, it had, like, the, uh... There's a Shimura sort of the N64? Yeah, it's a 3D game, and it has, like, levels that are, like, multi-level, and you can, like, break through them to get to the other ones. No, like, that was Earth in Mortal Kombat again. 3, but it was also, like, this was the first 3D game to do it. And Samurai Showdown 2 had, like, the active blocking. That was, like, the first time that ever happened. And, like, you know, that's a direct relative of, like, the parrying system in Street Fighter 3. You know? Or, like, pretty much any, like, you know, action game nowadays with the, like, active parries and stuff like that. God, the sprites are so big and beautiful and colorful in this game. This game is much more pretty than... ...than I remember it being. Of course, I... I... I think I mostly remember the Super Nintendo version. Oh, man. Apparently, there's a book called Makai Tensho. Which is a... it's a novel that has, like, famous historical characters and stuff from feudal Japan. And Jesus. Samurai Showdown, like, took, like, a lot of elements from it, especially from the movie Samurai, uh, Reincarnation. It, like, Camp was, like, Hoss this awesome, like, game. samurai right. movie that, like, sort of, like, you know, inspired a lot of the I stuff that's going on this. This is also medium mode. Like, this is just... I'm getting rocked so hard, and I'm just... Yeah, I mean, whatever. We're not trying to pretend like we're experts at this game. I know, but this... I would like to unleash... I know. It's just... I keep getting distracted because I'm I'm so excited. I feel like I keep repeating myself. But I really... I love... I, I really love this game, and I, I... I don't know. It's really an exciting... Like, very... Like, I haven't seen it in years. It's very, uh... Just a very, like, um... Nostalgic trip for me. Come... Aw, oh, dude! Have you played Samurai Showdown Sen? Well, this is ending very poorly. And I died. So there was a game called Samurai Showdown Sen. But it was like a 3D game, it came out in 2007? Well... Not a great- That was horrible. Not a great game. Not a great looking game. 
Looks uh, like I it got was, game over, so I don't know what to do now. A piece of crud. Uh, what we Does can it call reset? It. Oh, we can call it if you want to try one more time, and if you we'll just play till you lose again. Okay, so I, I I wish I knew what the buttons were on my controller. Okay. So okay, yeah. So the Neo Geo has four buttons. That actually makes sense now that I'm thinking of uh, now that I'm thinking of Metal Slug. It looks like uh, Alex house from mother Whoa, you're just kicking butt with this Kratos looking guy Wow that does a lot of damage Get over here. So what difficulty is this now? This oh. is still normal. It was Always normal. That's the sad part. <laughs> the one thing oh. I will notice is that there's no such thing as blocking in this game. There's your, blocking. Your no, your weapons can pierce through the blocking. Oh, really? Yeah. So like, blocking is not a real thing. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, cause she was blocking, and I just relentlessly destroyed her. Yeah, like I, I guess there is blocking, but it. Like, you can't block a sword, right? Uh, I have no idea. So Samurai Showdown 6 looks like it was the most recent 2D one. Let me, let me make sure that it's 2D. Man. Yeah, Samurai Showdown 6 looks like it's the game, dude. What's it for? PS2, but I don't know if it's... I don't think it ever came out in the US. Look at that bear just chilling in the back. Wow, it's Just looks... like digging the environment right now? Hilarious. Yeah. Samurai Showdown 6, yeah. I don't think it ever came out in, uh... Came out in arcades. And... Oh. PS2 box are on the side. Wait, is this... Did this come out in the United States? Probably not. Yeah. PS2, PSP, and Wii as part of the Samurai Showdown anthology. Wow. Every single character ever was playable. Including the ref. Ha! Ah, that's cool. We gotta get a copy of this game. Yeah. I'm sure it, this game has evolved a lot in regards to its gameplay aesthetics. Yeah, you know what, you guys, if you ever see us play a game that you'd like us to, you'd like to see us play a sequel to on like one of the, one of the like more specialized shows, just shout it out and we'll, and we'll check it out. You know, we'll like- Meanwhile, I'm gonna go- Wow, you just bathe got- Bathe in salt. You got rocked. Alright, well. Uh, let's just call it here. Um, you I'm guys so can, sorry, everyone. You guys can rage at us. We didn't. We didn't say we were experts at this. We we just downloaded this, but we don't. We wanted to play uh, Samurai Showdown, and so hope you enjoyed this little like walk through nostalgia. Sorry if I repeated myself. I just got really distracted. I, I usually it's okay. Look, you and I both repeated ourselves. I, I know, lost, and you did a few. I know, but I usually, I usually, I'm usually pretty good at looking at my notes. But I, I had my notes, and I just kept getting distracted by the game. It's all good. All right, guys. We'll see you sometime soon. Yeah, man. See you on Friday. Later, man. Later, man.